hi guys welcome back to this channel so whenever i'm trying to play this game and then suddenly they are dropping frames there is there are so much stutters there is bloodiness so i found some tweaks so make sure to watch and don't skip this video because every step with link with another step so watch this full video i hope this can help you right uh, just just uh, open the game let's go to the settings and first i move to the display section and make sure your screen mode is full screen and my resolution is 1920 1080 in that simple resolution and so make this uh, as 60 fps vsync i prefer to move so now dynamic resolution ops screen sampling is on fine quality pc i set the very low and make sure the mo motion blur should be off and chromatic ambient should be off okay uh, so this uh, my simple setting for run this game so you can see uh, like the graphics i think is fine because i am using uh, radeon graphics so uh, no, i have no doubt about that the uh, graphics is uh, fine mm -hmm. and i'm not uh, getting any fps drop or anything uh, just uh, simply i can play this game fine for for this setting simply uh, this game is fine i believe this uh, settings can alone uh, uh, at least take 40 to 50 fps uh, to smoother gameplay in the next step i will say that you have to update and optimize the gpu drivers okay so like nvidia amd intel Act, whatever you driver just uh, you have uh, using i definitely say that you have to just check and you have to update them okay so if nvidia then update them and set your power management mode prefer to maximum power management and amd uh, keep sure that you have to keep your residential should be off and in the intel arc uh, person who are using intel arc then you have to just enable threshold optimizations and performance scaling so now you have to move to the windows settings uh, so for windows optimization you have to just simply go to settings settings uh, section uh, just go to gaming and you'll find this uh, there's game mode so make sure your game mode should be on and also you have to kill in the background apps in the tax manager so you have to just simply search the tax manager and it uh, can be problematic for your game so you have to just uh, right click it and that end up okay so in your power plan like you have to just uh, if you put the control panel in category makes you just large icon and you see the power option mine is, is uh, balanced but you can change the plan settings and make it the uh, high performance or ultimate whatever you want and, and and make sure that you have to install this game on ssd so i'm uh, share with you some comments uh, comments from that can help you okay so you have to just uh, cmd uh, comment then and right click and run this program as an administrator now you have to just simply uh, copy those uh, things that are uh, all in description ssc and slash scan now this uh, can be scan your entire system and then it's it should be clear your uh, gaming parts next is okay so it's taking time okay, i'll see you and the second from is dism slash online slash cleanup image and destroy health these two prompts are so important for your system uh, now I have some uh, simple tweaks that can boost your FPS. You have to just simply download these tweaks. Uh, if you have uh, VR, then if you have VR, then you can download VR. Or if you have no VR using, then you can download the no VR. You have to just simply right click it and extract it. Uh, so after that, you can get get the file. Now, what should we do? We have to just simply copy. Ctrl C or copy and go to the gaming file location. Oh, sorry, sorry, my mistake. You have to go to the the saved game folder. So um, your uh, user, then your username, then you will find the app data. If you can't find the app data, you have to just uh, click the view and show and check the hidden items. Now click on app data, then local and you have to find the chronos
yes this is the chronos i'm just clicking uh, clicking it and then saved and then config and then windows okay there is game user setting and you have to just simply control p just paste this okay and right click on it and properties and make sure it is in read only mode okay i have to check this box now uh, that's a simple tweak then uh, there is another tweak if you uh, want to enable your dlss so how should you enable your dlss about that you have to download this dlss okay. this is the dlss level mode and just uh, click on it and now you have to double click this and accept all just uh, follow my steps and now if you found uh, this path you have to just go to the gaming game location where your game is installed then you have to uh, go to engine then binaries then win64 and wherever your game is installed you have just uh, simply go to this uh, binaries and win64 make sure uh, they are uh, in win64 the main thing is binaries and win64 if you find this binaries and win64 in any game you have to just simply go there and copy and then paste it then next and then you have to just click this and uh, uh, all gone and next and install it now this game has enabled the dlss okay uh, now i am uh, showing you the simple tweaks uh, base and boost this can uh, fix your stuttering and give a simple uh, game boost and uh, also your fps drops would be reduced okay so for that you have to just uh, this uh, this tweaks you can find in my description okay so i have to just uh, i have to just extract this there there is the base file and and simply you have to just boost as right click and extract i have just boost file all right so for that now what should we do we go to the main folder there is chronos and then just click it then you have to find content and then there is a uh, packs right and you have to create a folder on it right click new and create a folder mods okay create this folder now under this folder you have to just have to just paste the base and boost files so for that this is the base file you have to just control c and shift uh, and uh, simply uh, then mod and uh, simply just paste it okay and same way if there is boost file just copy and paste it so this is helping help us to boost and stabilize our game so uh, you have done it and uh, now i believe this games the uh, games would be more stable so there is the simple tweaks okay how to install optic scaler but make sure if you using optic scaler then you do we have don't use dlss or any other mods i previously show you in the steps if you use optic scaler then you have to only use optic scaler okay there is the optic scaler file just uh, simply I have to if uh, in the description you can find this file and uh, uh, the file then it, it will be zip file so make sure you have to right click and extract it then open uh, then open this and make sure you have to copy all this and copy to the game folder so i have to just uh, go to the game folder uh, there is the game folder and binaries consistent and paste here and make sure if you using dlss and available you have to paste this you have to paste these things in this folder okay then please binaries in 64 you have to paste the dlss and available in this folder if you want optic scaler then you have to use optic scaler and if you want to if you want to go with dlss and previous mods then you have to do you have to go go with that now you want to find the setup windows dot bat you have to just double click it and make sure it is one and if what gpu are you using intel or and nvidia i am using amd so i press one 
and will you try to use dlss input yes of course so press it one okay so the optics color is active on my game okay now you can see there is a uh, so after the uh, frame generation selection you have to just simply close and close the game and uh, and when it is done then again open this game okay so move to the next step you have to virtual memory boost okay then you have to type system dot cpl now in advance uh, you have seen the performance you have to just select settings and uh, and in their advanced settings uh, here you have to find virtual memory you have to change it and if is uh, if this checked then make sure you have to disable this and now under c drive you have to customize this as initial uh, as initial you have to just 4096 for ram i think and it's 8192 okay all done then just set it and apply it okay now move to the next step is ISLC ISLC is an intelligent standby list cleaner so for that you have to just download the ILC from my description now move to the ILC there is a ILC and after extraction you can find this folder you have to just simply double click it so now the ILC is active after you can if you can't see this on screen you have to just uh, select on this uh, so with an icon arrow and just uh, there is and just double click it and the pop-up is open so in this field after that is open uh, set the pulling is uh, 500 okay and then you have to just start it now move to the next step is spark control modern cpu power controls to save power uh, but it in game likes chronos that causes fps dips so we have to active the cores uh, okay so every cpu has their own cores so you have to active the cores uh, so for that you have to just simply uh, download the arc controller and now fine you have to just install it after install it there is power controller and I have set this value 100 and 100 percent and now your all cores are active and now when press ok so this is a big effect on your gaming ok now uh, the next is process lasso ok you can find this all links in my description so don't worry so there is process lasso and you will find the game okay so after find this find the game you have to just simply right click it and find the cpu priority and set always to high not real time has may that simple it's high. so now unlock the ultimate performance plan so for that you have to open the comment okay make sure you have to open the comment with the uh, run as administrator now after that you have to just paste this this is in my description you have to just paste this this is can ultimate your performance okay system performance so and the last part is uh, clean cedar gas so for that you have to just uh, simply in search and find big screen up whatever drive you are selected the selected and okay and this is there is a uh, find the junk files in your system just simply select those files and press ok your all files are deleted deleted and your game should be more smoother than your previous one okay and that's it the ultimate fps boost and starter fix guide uh, for this game uh, so if this guide helped you hit that like button and subscribe and uh, for more of these optimization guides and comment your new fps numbers below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one